Okay, so Carp Boy Shifter Bushing today. So you want to do is put the uh, tranny on a jack, just support it just a little bit. What you want to do is take your the rear part of your cross brace off. Take those two bolts off first, and then the four bolts that are bolted to the frame that hold the cross brace in place. Take those off, those are the two, and there's the two on the other side. So once you get those off, go ahead and just take the cross brace out. Okay, and Basically, what we ended up doing is we kind of did <laughs> did the shifter at the same time, so I've got a tutorial on that too if you want to watch it. Okay, so then uh, take the two the two bolts that hold the rear part the rear bolt on. The two bolts there, and take the front bolt off for the front bushing. So you got one right there. I actually use two wrenches to get this off for more leverage. Okay, and then the pin come all the way out, so what you need to do is slide it as far as you can and then pull the rod down and then separate the bolt. So after that, you can take the the whole rod out of the car. And then what we did was use a flathead screwdriver and got the uh, front out. It's one big piece, so you kind of got to work it out. Come up there. Just pretty much work it out, pull it out with your hands. All right, and then go ahead and put the new carpoy ones in there. So the carpoy is a two-piece set. So put the polyurethane ones in there. And go ahead and uh, slide the actual metal bushing through the middle. And then after that, go ahead and put the rear bushing on. Uh, we Ended up taking it out of the car because there was no room in there to try and slide that on. So if you want to try it, you can. This is our angle. Make sure you got it the right way. Yeah, you can if you want, but I didn't even want to try because it, it was just way too tight. Okay, so make sure when you put it back on, that tab goes up there. It's pretty important. So work the bolt into the bushing first and then slide it up through that slot. Okay, and just, just start the bolt for now. And tighten it later because you're gonna need that wiggle room to put the rear bushing on. Okay, like I just make sure that that tab is up there on the top. You're uh, finished and it's in tight. So start it and then go to the back and put those the two bolts in for the rear bushing. Those bolts that Carpoy give you are not very good, so they were pretty hard to get in. But you know we actually got them in, so just keep trying. Turn angles and things, and you'll be able to get it in there. Okay, then go ahead and tighten the front bolt. And then all you need to do is just put that rear part of the cross brace back on. So go ahead and start the uh, four bolts that are bolted to the frame. What you need to do after that is just put the two bolts on in the middle, and then that's it. So I hope this is helpful.